This is a God who is now giving to each of us. Amen. Glory to me, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and the giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, the Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, the Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, the Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And as the kingdom of God and the glory of the Father and the Son and Holy Spirit, now and ever to be elevated. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Him. Bless the Lord, my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed in praise and honor, who covers yourself with light as with a garment. Spreading out the heavens as a curtain, you cover your chambers with the waters. You make the clouds your chariot, you walk on the wings of the wind. You make your angels spirits and your ministers a flaming fire. You establish the earth on its sure foundation, it shall never be moved. You covered it with the deep as with a garment, the waters shall stand on the hills. At your rebuke they shall flee at the voice of your thunder, they shall be alarmed. They go up to the mountains and down to the plains, to the place which you have founded for them. You have set a boundary which they shall not pass. Neither shall they turn again to cover the earth. You send forth fountains among the valleys, the waters shall run between the mountains. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild donkeys shall quench their thirst. By them the birds of the heavens shall have their habitation. They shall sing among the rocks. You water the mountains from your chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your miracles. You make grass grow for the cattle and vegetation for the service of man that you may bring forth bread out of the earth, and wine that gladdens the heart of man, oil to make his face cheerful, and bread which strengthens man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be full of sap, even the cedars of Lebanon which you have planted. There the birds will build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees. The high mountains are a refuge for the stags, and the rock for the rabbits. You have appointed the moon for seasons, the sun knows his going down. You make darkness, and it is night, and yet all the wild beasts of the forest will creep about. Young lions roar for prey, and seek their food from God. The sun rises, and they gather together and lie down in their den. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how great are your works and wisdom! You have made them all. The earth is filled with your creation, this great and wide sea in which are innumerable living things, both small and great. There is the other ships, and there is Leviathan, which you have made to play there. I'll wait for you to give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they will gather it up. When you open your hand, they shall be filled with goodness. But when you have turned away your face, they shall be troubled. When you take away their breath, they fail and return to the dust. You send forth your spirit, and they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks upon the earth and makes it tremble. He touches the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing praises to the Lord all my life. I will sing praises to my God as long as I live. May my meditation be sweet to him. I will rejoice in the Lord. The sinners and wicked men disappear from the earth, and may they be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knows it's going down, you make darkness, and it is night. O Lord, how great are your works and wisdom, you have made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Of 
salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of all the churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy monastery, for those who have been with faith, reverence the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Archbishop Alexander, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the government of our country, for our president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy monastic habitation, for every monastery, city, and country, and for the faithful who dwell in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the seasonal weather, for the abundance of her dear to her peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives of salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Spirit, 
now and ever into the ages of ages.
My soul has hope on the Lord. Rejoice, O glorious passioners, following in the steps of the martyrs of old. You contended firmly for the sake of the faith. In the cruel and grievous times of your Yet 
Daar achter in de straat in de the skip out of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, What shall we do to these men? Indeed, a remarkable miracle has been accomplished through them, as can plainly be seen by all who dwell in Jerusalem. And we cannot deny it. Nevertheless, to prevent this from spreading any further among the people, let us severely threaten them so that from now on they will no longer speak to anyone in his name, in this name. They called the apostles and ordered them not to speak at all or to teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered them, Whether is it, it is right in the sight of God to listen to you rather than to God? Judge for yourselves. But we cannot help telling the things which we saw and heard. When they had further threatened the apostles, they let them go. They found no way to punish them on account of the people, because everyone glorified God for what had been done. Moreover, the man on whom this miracle of healing had been performed was more than 40 years old. After being released, the apostles came to their own company and reported everything that the chief priests and the presbyters, presbyters, sorry, and the presbyters had said to them. When they heard it, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, O Lord, who made the heaven? the earth, the sea, and all that is in them. Who by the mouth of your servant David said, Why do the nations rage and the peoples who plot a vain thing? The kings of the earth take a stand, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his Christ. For truly, both Herod and Pontius Pilate along with the Gentiles, the peoples of Israel, were gathered together against the holy child Jesus, whom you anointed. <clears throat> they did whatever you, your hand and counsel had foreordained to happen. And now, Lord, consider their threats and grant your bond servants to speak your word with complete boldness. Stretch out your hand to heal <clears throat> and make signs and wonders be accomplished through the name of your holy child, Jesus. When they had prayed, the place where they were gathered was shaken. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and proclaimed the word of God with boldness. The multitude of those who believed were of one heart in one soul. Not one of them claimed that anything he possessed was his own, but they had all things in common. We have the reading is from St. Paul's second letter to Timothy. Let us be attentive. My son Timothy, I charge you before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead and secure your name in his kingdom. Preach the word. Welcome or unwelcome, he's a star. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and instruction. Indeed, the time will come when people will not listen to the sound doctrine, but having itching ears, they will gather around themselves teachers who agree with their own lives. They will turn away their ears from the truth and be turned to fables. As for you, be sober in all things, endure hardship, do the work of one who proclaims the good news and fulfill your ministry. As for me, I am already being offered in sacrifice, and the time of my release has come. I have fought a good fight. I have finished the course. I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness is reserved for me, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all those who love to his appearance. The readings from the Epistle of St. Paul to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brothers and sisters, through faith, the saints overpower kingdoms, 
administered justice, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the power of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, became strong in weakness, grew mighty in war, and caused foreign armies to flee. Women received their dead by resurrection, others were tortured, not accepting their deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection. Others were tried by mocking and scourging, yes, by chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn apart, they were tempted and they were slain with the sword. They went around in sheep and goat skins, being destitute, afflicted, and ill-treated. And yet the word was not worthy, and the world was not worthy of them. They wandered in deserts, mountains, caves, and holes of the earth. All of them received a testimony through their faith, but they did not receive the promise because God had made provision for us to have something better, that they were not to reach perfection apart from us. Let's sing with our soul with the Lord and let's sing. Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty God of our fathers, we pray thee hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to great mercy, we pray thee hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the cause of evil. Christian into our 
our lives, famous, blameless, and peaceful, and you good, you thank you for the good judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord. And may we read our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and most faithful, and most holy, and virgin Mary, to give all the saints, let us commit ourselves to one another in our whole life. Unto Christ our God. For thou art a good God, the Lord, good kind, to thee we sin of glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the age of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. O oh Lord our God, who is found in heaven, come down from salvation to human race. Look upon your servants and your inheritance. For to you, the dread judge, you love your kind, and your servants bow their heads as if inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but your mercy, in expectation of your salvation. Whom do you protect at all times, both during the present evening and in the approaching night, nor be any reception of the devil from vain thoughts and evil imaginations? Blessed and most glorified be the majesty of your kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Descending from heaven to ascend the cross, the eternal life has called for death to raise those who had fallen, to enlighten those in darkness. O Jesus, our Savior, and illuminator, glory to you. We glorify Christ who rose from the dead. He accepted the human body and soul and freed the world from sufferings. His most pure soul descended to Hades, which is world. His holy body did not see corruption in the tomb. He is the Redeemer of our souls. He has established the world so that it shall never be moved. In songs and songs we glorify your resurrection from the dead, O Christ. By it you have freed us from the tortures of hell, and as God have granted us eternal life and great mercy. O oh, Master of all incomprehensible Creator of heaven and earth, by the suffering on the cross you have gained passionless for me, accepting burial and arising in glory. You resurrected Adam with yourself by your almighty hand. Glory to your rising on the third day. By it you have granted us eternal life and cleansing of sins. As the only compassionate one. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. O new house of Ephraim, splendid and elect O holy Russia, guard the Orthodox faith, in which is thy confirmation and support. O marvelous wonder, the Queen of Heaven and Earth, who has been entreated by the saints of our land, as until now covered the Russian land tenderly enriching the choir of its people. O mighty sovereign lady, cease not to pray for confirmation of the Orthodox faith in Rus, and to pour out wonders forever. Amen.
Have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and love of humankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for we lay aside all our spirits. We sinners offer to thee to our Master. This supplication have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and Holy Spirit. O Lord, have mercy on us. For in thee we put our trust. Do not be angry with us, nor remember our iniquities. But look at us even now, as thou art compassionate, and do us from our enemies, for thou art our God. And we are thy people, we are the work of thy hands, and we call on thy name. Now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. O blessed Theotokos, open the doors of compassion to us, whose hope is in thee, that we may not perish, but be delivered from adversities through thee. For thou art the salvation of Christian people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God, our Savior, who went and prophet Nathan, this way of remission of a sin to repent of David, and is accepted the prayer of Manasseh. You yourself and your customer love for you and try and accept these as your servants to repent of the sin they have committed, overlooking all that they have done, forgiving their unrighteousness, and passing by the transgressions. For you, O Lord, have said, I do not desire the death of a sinner, but that he turn from his way and live, and that sin shall be forgiven. You do seventy times seven. For as your majesty is incomparable, so is your mercy immeasurable. For if you should mark iniquities, who should stand? For you are the God of those who repent, and you do sin of glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, in the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. O Master, Lord, lover of humankind, hearken to us for our treating your grace for these your servants, and as great and merciful overlook their transgressions, and deliver them from eternal torment. For you have said, O Master, whatsoever you shall bind them to be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall loose them to be loosed in heaven. For you only are without sin, and to you do sin of glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Behold, children. Christ and visibly stands here to hear your confession. Be not ashamed, neither be afraid, nor hide them from me. For the fear not to tell me all that you have done to you, you may receive forgiveness from our Lord Jesus Christ. Behold, his life comes before us, and I am only the witness, that I may bear witness before him of all you tell me. If you hide him from me, you shall have a greater sin. Take heed, therefore, that having come to a place of position, you do not depart out of the oath. And now to the best of your ability, search your hearts, your souls, your minds, your consciences, for anything you may have done this. Displease the Lord, and he may have done this transgress his commandments. Be sorry also for wrongs done to others, whether done knowingly or unknowingly, willingly or in ignorance. Be sorry for failing to serve God at key moments in your life, lost opportunities that will not return. Opportunities to forgive, opportunities to show kindness, opportunities to shine the light of Christ. Be sorry for all these shortcomings. Resolve to be a better and more faithful Christian. Concerning all these things, you are bound henceforth to take care, since according to Christian history, repentance, you are to be baptized with the second baptism. And God helping you, you must make a good beginning and a new fresh start. And above all, you must not take these things lightly or return to the same things, lest you become a cause of scorn to men. This is not becoming to Christians, but in mind, be righteously and devoutly, and may God help you by His grace. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, Lord, God of the salvation of your servants, who are merciful, compassionate, and long-suffering, who repent concerning our evil deeds, who do not desire the death of sinners, but that they should turn from their way and live. You yourself now be merciful to your servants, and grant them in your repentance, pardon, and remission of sins, forgiving them every transgression, whether committed voluntarily and voluntarily. Reconcile your life into your holy church through Jesus Christ our Lord, with whom is due to your power and majesty now and ever in the ages of ages. Amen. May our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, by the grace and compassion of his love for humankind, forgive you, my children, all your transgressions. And I, as an unworthy priest, through his power given to me, forgive you and resolve you from all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.